Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah Wisted. Today we are talking about luxury patio furniture options for your backyard that you can buy today. You can think of me as your personal shopper because I really went through all of the online stores that you can literally just type in the website, choose what you want, and get it delivered to your door. So, you're welcome. <laughs> This video is part two of a two-part series and the first video that I did in part one We talk about how to make your outdoor space feel more expensive And then based on a lot of the research that I've done for this video I was able to have kind of tips on what I was drawn to and what I was noticing in terms of Spaces that looked more expensive and more elevated But I did do a ton of research for you guys on some furniture that's available today And we're gonna be going through those I'm gonna try and do it kind of quickly because I found a lot of options Options. Like I am so type A you guys. It's so crazy of me I like literally scoured the internet and I found a few options that I think would be really cool for outdoor furniture I am gonna share some higher-end more aspirational options unless that's your budget and then good for you These options I think are really cool. So Hopefully somebody can invest in these as I am not going to be this year But I will say most of them are in like the mid-range to, to budget options Just because I felt like that made more sense and it was just more doable since if you're like me I don't want to spend all my money on the outdoor space unless I have it, but yeah, we won't be buying anything this year, so this will all be for your benefit. So let's get started. We're gonna start with kind of the luxury ones and go down on price range. So we'll end with more of the affordable options. So to start with some of the most beautiful pieces, I had to really focus and only show you guys a few because there's some really beautiful outdoor options that are very expensive. Um, but I'm only gonna show you guys a few that I thought were really cool. And the first one that I wanted to share with you is from RH. And it is the Cape Town Teak Collection. I'm like gonna pull up my computer so I can explain kind of like where my mind's at. It's hard when you're not looking at the picture. So the Cape Town Teak Collection is a collection of, they have different like sofas, club chairs, um, day beds, stuff like that, all in a collection for RH and it all matches and all goes together. And you can get it in the same finish and then the same upholstery style. I just really love how RH is thoughtful and that you can customize it, but like you can also have all your pieces kind of match within the collection. Now, I will say I'm not a huge fan of conversational sets that do that from like more, like more cost-friendly stores and I think it's because maybe I don't want to say it's like too matchy-matchy but there's something about the RH like when everything matches it just looks so good to me but this Cape Town Teak collection is so beautiful it was hard for me to choose just one collection to be honest like I feel like restoration hardware is like the goat when it comes to outdoor furniture I'm not a huge restoration hardware like lover but I'm telling you this collection is beautiful I love the teak wood and how it's like angled it's like it's a lot of right angles but there's also some um, not right angles and I just feel like it looks really substantial which if you watch my last video substantial is like the main tip that I'm giving in terms of making your home your outdoor space look more um, expensive and all of RH's like couches and all of that look substantial they provide a lot of space and just a lot of room to just kind of like settle in so that's my opinion I've actually before I get into all of these I have not tested or tried any of these pieces so take what you will from that if you order one and it's not up to like the standard that you believe that it should be just know that i've not personally tried any of these so that's kind of like a disclaimer there so moving on to my next option that i'm going to link below is also from rh like i said i tried not to put everything in here but i just wanted to, to mention this one it's called the reyes teak lounge chair and the reason I wanted to mention it is because I see this is a really high-end version, of course, of this lounge chair, but I do see a lot of versions in more of the cost-friendly price point that I'll be sharing later on, and I just think this one's really beautiful. It's substantial. I love the angles that it has with it. It feels like it feels like a luxury camping vacation based on this photo that I'm looking at right now, and I'm just really here for that vibe, so I just wanted to mention that one. The next brand I'm going to show you two quick options from. I just kind of wanted to mention them because I think they're outdoor collection is really beautiful and it's Nor 11 which is a European brand they are from I'm blanking Copenhagen they have this um, really beautiful sofa in their new outdoor collection called the studio 3 it's super modular so you can create your own sofa with it, it has all these different pieces that you can invest in but it just looks 
it looks like a sofa that should be indoors and I think the idea of an, a luxury outdoor living is to have almost like a living room, just like substantial feeling outdoors and this sofa is just so cool. I mean, I think it would be really cool if I could put this in my backyard but this is definitely something that I could see in a high-end resort or something like that so I wanted to share that with you. Nora 11 also has this really cool outdoor chair that also looks like something that should be indoors but it's made for outdoors and it's called the Hippo Lounge Chair and I just think it was a really unique shape. I haven't seen, in terms of outdoor furniture and when I was looking online, I hadn't seen anything else like it. So I think that one is really cool as well. Another brand that I just wanted to mention quickly, which I think has um, really cool luxury outdoor living furniture is the brand Harbor, H-A-R-B-O-U-R. And they have some really beautiful pieces as well, but their Almafi sofa is just so stunning. Like. Even in the pictures, I think the pictures are what's selling me on this because it's like pictured, it looks like it's on the Amalfi Coast, but it's this stunning long couch that has different curves to it. You can make it how you want. It's like a modular couch that you can pick and choose pieces from. But I just think the color of the bottom section of the couch pairs perfectly with the color of the white that they chose. Um, and they have different colors also. But this whole couch situation is such a vibe, so I wanted to share that with you. And last but not least, I wanted to share kind of a more creative option. And it's the Kiowa Club Chair that I found on Burke Decor, and it's from the brand Azuro Living. I thought this chair and the sofa set that you can buy, like if you bought it as a set, is just so unique. I haven't seen anything else like it. When I was looking for different product links that I wanted to share with you guys and I thought, I don't know, I just thought it looked cool because it was a, a unique take on something that me as a minimalist or I consider myself minimalist decor kind of style like. I just think it's kind of cool, which I was kind of shocked that I would like something like this, but yeah, I think it's a really cool option if you're wanting something more unique, but also stay in kind of like a luxurious feel. Okay, moving on to more of like a mid-range type of, I guess, price point. The first option that I put on here for mid-range is from Frontgate, and it is the St. Kitts three-piece sofa set in weathered teak. And yes, this is about six or 7,000, which sounds like it should maybe be in the higher end. The reason I'm putting this in the mid-range is because I feel like what you're getting for that price point is a lot of furniture and substantial furniture. And from what I understand, Frontgate's a really reputable outdoor like furniture company. So if you're somebody looking for a classic, long-term set, that all comes together at a really reasonable price point. I thought this was a really cool option for that. The next one from CB2 that I did want to mention because I thought it was just a really cool shape is the Basio Natural Rattan Outdoor Sofa. I'm not a huge fan of rattan furniture for outdoor spaces, but I do really like this sofa and club chair situation. I actually think the club chairs would look really good set up like if you got like four four to six of them and put them in a conversation circle with like a fire pit or some sort of circle coffee table. Could look really cool. The next option is the is from Overstock, which Overstock actually surprisingly has some really good options on it. So at really good price points, which is why I was digging through Overstock for so long. <laughs> but it's their Beechcroft Beige three-piece outdoor sectional. And this one, um, again, if you watched my previous video, I, I don't like love wicker furniture, but I also don't hate it. I think it has a really good like traditional classic style to it, but you have to get a substantial wicker. Like it has to look nice from the wicker. And like I said, I have not tried any of these couches or seen them in person, but this one, looks really nice and looks really substantial and the price tag is really good for how big it is and how substantial it looks. The next piece is from William Sonoma, which is this club chair. I wanted to include this because I think it's a very restoration hardware vibe at a way less price point. So I thought that one was really cool. It's a substantial club chair. The next piece that I found was from Pottery Barn. It's called the Indio Eucalyptus Modern Adirondack Chair. I really thought that the shape of this looked really cool. It again looks substantial. I really liked the angles that it had on it. I don't know, I think this one's a really great option. And then the last one in like the mid range that I wanted to include is from the brand Hay, which if you guys know me, um, I love the brand Hay. I think that they have some really cool, unique designs. It's on Finish Design Shop, which you guys know I shop at all the time, but they have this Palisade lounge chair and, and I personally like the low version. They have a regular version and a low version. 
and I think the low version looks really, really cool. I just think in general, it's a really cool design. I don't know, you'll get kudos from people who love design if they see you with the Hey Lounge chair. I'll just leave with that. <laughs> Getting into our budget options, which I feel like most of you are probably here for, but I'm really excited to share this list with you. And the first one I wanted to share with you is the Cali Outdoor Modular Sofa from Berk Decor. 2000, I know you're probably looking at me like, Sarah, that's not budget. But for what you get for the price tag, I feel like is really, really good. So if you look at this one, it's the wicker again, but the wicker looks a little bit more substantial. It's thick, it looks like bigger. And then the cushions themselves look so inviting and so comfortable. Again, I've not sat on this one, but it just looks really, really beautiful. And I feel like it would look really good in a backyard or outdoor space. This next set that I'm including here, I think is a great find for $1,200, which is still blowing my mind. You can get a five piece sofa seating group with cushions. And this is from Joss and Maine. The reason I like this, of course, is just the neutral colors. I feel like this is very much on brand with like everything else that I love, duh, of course. I don't know the quality of this one. It does kind of concern me that it isn't more, but the fact that it isn't more is a good thing for you because I feel like it's a great price point for, you know, just throwing something in your backyard that you have to protect, you know, from the weather. I really loved the idea of a parallel seating conversation. So instead of having the seating how you see it here, um, I think it would look really cool if you had like the sofa on one side and then had the two chairs on the other side, like parallel to each other, facing each other. Um, and then the coffee table in the middle, which I think would look really cool. So I just loved this as an option, especially cause the, um, the cushions even looked pretty good too. So if anybody buys this, let me know if you like the quality of it because I am really curious about this one. I feel like that's a really, really good price point. Oh, and I did want to mention, it has 13 reviews, all five stars, so I think that one's a winner. This next one from Joss and Maine, which I actually did find a lot on Joss and Maine, so if you're looking, I feel like maybe that's a good place to look. Um, but it's this Despina Teak Outdoor Sofa. So this sofa, they have almost an exact same version of it on CB2, but it is a little bit more expensive than this, so there you have it, the look for less. <laughs> Again, another option that I think is such a good option if you're looking for an outdoor set for such a good price is this Donnie four-piece sofa seating group with cushions from Joss and Maine. And it's only a thousand, oh, it's sold out. Okay, it's sold out, but it wasn't yesterday and it says to notify when it's back in stock. So I'll just share it anyway. If you guys wanna join the wait list, I'll have that link down below. But it's the Donnie four-piece sofa seating group with cushions. I think that this, looks so good. It's not as substantial as like a restoration hardware, for example, but it does give off that similar like vibe and the chairs look a little bit oversized and they just look really nice. And again, 33 reviews on this one with almost five stars. So I think this is a really cool option. We're back at CB2. This next one is the Brenton Black Metal Outdoor Sofa. This one I just feel like is a classic shape. It's, only, it's under a thousand dollars for a sofa and it looks like something that could last you a long time. It comes in the black frame and they also have a white frame so depending on your style I think either one could look really cool but I liked the back of it I like the shape of it I think the pillows look cool Ooh, we have an Ikea one and this first option that I have here is called the Nemaro modular corner sofa this one specifically is a corner sofa but you can purchase however you want to build out your sofa so if you watched my part one to this video one of the seating arrangements that I really liked was like the extra long sofa. You could put it in like a U shape or the modular where you have like the coffee table in between some of the sections. Just kind of like build it out how you want it. I think this one would be this like set of sofas or like set of individual pieces could be really cool as an option for that without having to spend some crazy amount on a modular outdoor sofa. So if you're looking for a an expensive option for a modular sofa, this one, I think is it. I'm throwing this one in here too. It's kind of similar, but it's just a little bit of a different vibe. It's the Juice Aloman Modular Sectional um, from Ikea as well. And I do like this one, um, not as much as the wooden one, but I think this one actually, I, because it's not wood, maybe it will hold up longer, I'm not sure. But again, same cushion type. You can build it out how you want it. I think it's a great option. The next two are club chairs, but I just wanted to throw them in here. And the first one is the, the Isis Outdoor Lounge Chair. And it comes in a set of two for $500, which is, that's where it's at. Like that is saving money in my opinion. And I think these look substantial. They look similar to the restoration hardware vibe that I've been really into. Um, yeah, 
that's all I really have to say about that. Same thing for this next one. It's the Donnie Outdoor Lounge Chair. It's, it's the same style as the set that I showed you at the beginning, that this is like a set of two club chairs, and I just think that they look really cool. I like the, the, how this one has kind of the back that goes back just a little bit. Um, it seems like it would be more comfortable. This next one's from Target, and it is the Midway Metal Patio Love Seat. I thought this one looked kind of nice. It looked very similar to some high-end options that I was seeing, so I wanted to include that there. The more club chairs, it's the Aston Outdoor Club Chair. This one is from Overstock, and I just thought the shape of these looked really cool. This looks kind of like California chic. All right, we're coming near the end. The next one is the Tulum Indoor Outdoor Bean Bag from Overstock. I am a huge fan of bean bags. I think they look so chic in the outdoor space. And this one is only $100 and you can literally move it around, throw in our backyard so that if we wanna go lay in the grass and the sun, we have these bean bags like ready to go. It doesn't look like it got great reviews. So maybe take that with a grain of salt, but yeah, I like the look of it. Okay, last but not least, you guys, is from Amazon. I found these the other day when I just initially started the search, and I surprisingly really love these. I think that they look really high-end and expensive for being so not high-end or expensive. But like I said, I have not tried these, so we'll see what they're like in real life, if any of you guys get them. But it's these oversized scoop lounge chair with thick padded cushions. I just thought the shape of these were really cool and I could see these kind of in like a conversational circle set and just looking a little bit more unique than, you know, the standard square club chairs that I've been showing you, which you guys know I love. I do love these as well. I think these look really, really cool. And I was this close to buying them, but I'm like, I don't know, I feel like I don't know, I just can't decide. If you guys buy these, let me know what you think. Send me a picture, I would love to see, but I think these are really cool. All right, so that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And that is it for the series. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been so fun. I will do many more videos where this comes from, but I have a lot of exciting ones upcoming. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys on my next video.